guys, welcome back to Hobby Vault. My name is Skylar and welcome to my Backlog Buster series. Basically, I have just a few kits from my insane backlog, which I'm sure you saw from my backlog tour here. I am ashamed to say I have quite a few kits that are pretty much almost done, but just sitting in boxes. We are going to be finishing today my Zaku 2 Mega Size kit. The mega sizes have gone up in value, and that is insane to me, but I understand why. Actually, they come with their own little tools, so you don't even need nippers. I suggest getting nippers, but you don't need them, which I think is awesome. I have let this sit here and be sat in this box for way too long, and we don't want that anymore. I will not be putting decals on it because I do intend to paint it. You will see here soon that some of the injection mold process wasn't quite good on this, and there's some swirl marks in the red, and that's just not good enough. Not for how cool this kit is. Like, comment, subscribe, and come back for more.
head is done. And then all that's left is the weapons, and that is amazing. But, you know what? Let's go ahead and put this bad boy on here. <sighs> if you notice, I did leave quite a few nub marks. A, because filming and being really, really detailed is a difficult feat. And I do care about how this kit comes out eventually when I actually do paint it. So I'm going to leave the sanding and the more advanced techniques for paint prep. So again, I will go over that series and, you know, subscribe and I can help you out. Huh? 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 Yeah? Yeah? Anyways. <laughs> so this is Zaku 2, completely finished, aside from his weapons. She's done, she's finally done. That's one kit down. It may not be painted, but, but it's technically out of my backlog. Aren't you guys proud of me? All right. <laughs> so now I got to take a picture of this and put it on my Instagram so people know that I'm finally working on my backlogs. <laughs> But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please stick around if you wanna see the extra footage that I have, um, updates on Cubelay, cause I am still painting Cubelay. You'll see why if you stick around. Actually, I use the hands where he can't hold his weapons, which I'm fine with right now because when it comes to my, my bigger kits, I really don't like them holding weapons just because it becomes too bulky. They're already big and they're awesome. So I tend to leave the weapons either on the ground or I'll switch out the hands. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave them like this. I will put the weapons together. And yeah, thank you guys again for watching. And don't forget to leave a comment. Any questions in the comments below. I will leave links in the description as to where you can get him. Um, they are, as I said, getting a little bit more difficult to find, the mega size line. Yes, so he is done. I am so sorry if the footage was not adequate. My camera was Overheating the entire time I'm looking at you, Sony. Not you, you're Canon, you're amazing. I think I'm gonna have to save up for a better camera to be able to do my speed build. So for now, I hope this was good enough. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed the Mega Size line and let me know if you have any comments or questions down below. I will leave the links in the description as to where you can find him and all the other Mega Size lines. And yeah, as usual, thank you guys for all the support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I have not forgotten about the Cubelet. It has been brought to my attention that Bluefin on the West Coast there, it's our main distributor and supplier basically for the United States for all Gundams. So I have ordered my thinners and paints and everything that I like to use through my local game store and Bluefin actually contacted them and told them that due to inaccessibility to thinners and paints, they had to cancel my order. So I'm going to have to find alternative methods which actually might be a whole series in itself. Right now, there's not very many tutorials online that actually sit and take you like step by step into what you need to do if you're a fairly new builder or something like that. I really want to focus on trying to help people who, you know, have never built a kit, don't know very much about kits, want to start painting their kits, whatever. I got you. I got you. We got this.